Welcome back to Brad's World Coins. So, these are the coins that I bought at the World's Fair of Money. If you didn't see my recap, go ahead and go watch that. Um, and I also took you along for the for the ride. So I hope you enjoyed that if you have watched it. Um, but this is what I scored. So I bought them all from one dealer. Uh, he's from California. I can't remember exactly what his name was. I've got it around here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Carl Stevens, Inc. So he's from Fallbrook, California. And he's a regular at the show, apparently. But um, I decided to spend all my money at one place because I could get the better discount. We start off with 10%. That's what he said. And then as I was going, I was there for, I think, three hours or so flipping through these things. And he said, oh, okay, I'll give you a 15% discount. And then by the end of it, I had a 20% discount. So <laughs> the prices on here are what they were priced before the 20% discount. So um, he is a former grader from uh, either NGC or PCGS. I can't remember. So he's also got grading levels on here as well. And I trust those. Um, unless he wasn't a great grader, and that's why he's a former one. But he was... He was getting up there in age, so I can see him retiring from that life. Anyways, let's get into this. I'm going to do this in three parts because there are so many coins. So one part's going to be this, another part's going to be that, another part's going to be that. And these are in alphabetical order, so we'll start with the A's. Alright, so this first one is 0.05 Lek from Albania, 1940. Now, all of these coins that I'm going to show you, except for two, I don't have an example of. So, that's one of the reasons I spent so much time looking at these things. And that's a fantastic looking coin. Again, from Albania, we got a different one. I wonder if this is the same guy, but just with the helmet on. I don't know. What do you think? It's a very similar mustache. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it might be. Anyways, Albania. And this is point two oh lek. Nineteen forty one. You got the double headed eagle there. It's pretty cool. Again from Albania. This is definitely a different guy. Curly hair instead of no hair and no mustache. This is nineteen twenty seven one lek. You got the Naked warrior with a cape on a horse. That can't be comfortable. <laughs> Next, we move to Algeria. So we've got two coins over here. This is a 1972, and this is a 1972. And both of these are FAO commemoratives, so the World Food Day commemoratives. So we've got a 20 and a 1. And let's see, they are, yeah, it's so one, this is a one dinar, and they said this is a 20 cent, but it's probably whatever the partials are of the dinar. So this is from Algeria, celebrating the World Food Day. Now this one I do have an example of, um, but I figured I might replace it with the one I have. Uh, for keeping, although I've been keeping a lot of my world silver. Uh, this is 1927 Australian Florin. It's a nice commemorative, only year of issue, um, commemorating the Parliament House. This is another commemorative, another Florin from 1951 from Australia. I believe this one was 50% silver. Great condition. I didn't have this style. I know Penny Haven has this one with the cross scepter and the sword. Pretty nice. I had to grab it. And with Austria, we got a florin. This one, I just couldn't pass it up. It looks great. I don't have one. 1887. I've got some Ten Heller from 1887, and they're really tiny. We got the same design, both sides. 
Then I grab something from the Azores. So this is the first year of issue from 1901. This is 10 rice. I think that's how it's pronounced now. It's either rice, Reyes, or whatever you want to do. I've been saying Reyes for a long time, but I've heard other people say rice. So, anyways, nice coin there. And this is the other one I have. The Bahamas, 15 cents. It's such an odd denomination, and this is such a stunningly beautiful coin. So I had to get another one. So reflective. This is, I think, better than the one I have. It's not silver, so I may be replacing this one, and that means mine that I have will be showing up on Brad's World Coin Emporium. This is another fantastic Bahaman coin. 50 cents, 1971. I didn't have a copy of this one. And I didn't care that it was proof. I don't usually go for proofs. Even though both of these are proof. But, um, they were the only ones available. And I didn't have this design. All right, next we have Bolivia. Let's see if we can get a little bit more zoomed in there. So you got the llama and the mountain and the sun. So this is 10 centavos. Oh my goodness, get in focus. There we go. 10 centavos from 1941. I believe this one's out of zinc. Then we have the 20 centavos. A little bit better condition. 1942. Again from zinc. Beautiful coin. And the five centavos from 1909. Again from Bolivia. A lot more wear on that one. Like the green holder. And then we move on to Brazil. That's an outstanding beard, my friend. <laughs> 1869. That's 10 rice or 10 reyes. However you want to pronounce it. I love that old shield. I've seen that on several of their older coins. I just, I love that coat of arms or crest, whatever you want to call it. So I saw this one. British West Africa, they're calling it Nigeria, which I believe that's what it was. So this is 1908. This is with Edward VII on it, and it's just a beautiful one-tenth of a penny. Interesting denomination. Something I didn't have, so I had to grab it. With the Star David there. Also from British West Africa, anytime you see something with Edward VIII on it, you gotta grab it. Fantastic coin. He's saying it's MS-63. Um, yeah, 1936. One penny. This is a uh, copper nickel. It still looks great. So we got Bulgaria with the three lions. 1882. I believe that's one lev. Yep. And again from Bulgaria. Back up a little bit. So they're saying this is aluminum. That's two lev from 1923. And the last coin for this video. Ten centavos, 1896. From Chile with a condor. Alright, well, thanks for sticking around and checking out these coins. So like I said, this is going to be in three parts and this is the end of part one. So, join me next time and thanks for supporting me. Bye.